What's up guys? Welcome to a new video. Today I will show you how you can use multiple cameras in LumaFusion and how to sync them to get a pretty cool result. So um, therefore I've set up multiple cameras, in ca this case three cameras. Uh, it might not be useful in this situation but a real situation where you're using uh, multiple cameras are uh, most of the professional unboxing videos for YouTube. So they are showing their reaction, they are showing a above view and maybe a wide angle view to show the whole situation. Or if you're mounting um, GoPro cameras or action cameras to cars, um, most of them show cameras facing forward and backward, showing the driver, showing the interior, so four or five cameras in one car. And you always have to sync them to get a pretty nice audio quality. And of course, you have to choose which uh, camera you are showing in which part of the whole video. So I'm going to show you all of this in LumaFusion, so we are jumping right into LumaFusion. So in this uh, timeline you are seeing three videos and the first step is to sync them. Therefore I snapped. So we have a visual and a audio point where we can start our synchronization. So therefore you have to be very precise to get the right point. So I'm cutting the top clip right before the snap and dragging it the position where on the second clip so right there where I'm going to snap so also cut that there and dragging it above and then the audio line at the lower clip you will see the snap it's pretty obvious and also visually in the video itself. So we are cutting it right at this point and then trying to sync them perfectly. This is a yeah kind of annoying work because you have to be as precise as possible. So I would recommend zooming in until you get very big frames and you can sync them right to the frame where you want them. So like this. Then always check it if there are uh, multiple snaps uh, or other claps or whatever you want to use. But in this case, it looks good, uh, etc. It sounds good because I don't hear double snap. At this point, it is important that you always hear what, and uh, if you hear double sounds, it's something's wrong. Also, if in the timeline everything looks synced, it's the, the best way to do it is just to hear on the voices or on the sounds. So that's why I'm just tweaking around a little bit to make it perfect. So now that I have synced everything, uh, the hardest part is done. And now I'm going to show you two ways to um, handle the multi clips. Therefore, the first thing we have to do is to change the size to about 50, doesn't matter, and drag the clip to one corner. Choose yourself. You just have to make sure you know which clip is where. So, and then we repeat this with all of the clips, but we are dragging them to different positions in the frame. So we are going to see them all. So like this. And no, we don't want them to be played at that size. We just want to make sure we see everything. And now we are going to start. I want to start with the lowest clip, so the first clip in the timeline, which is my main camera. And this is also the clip where the audio comes from. And then we are changing to the second layer and then to the third, which is the lowest part in the, the preview window. So now we are cutting everything 
like we want to see it later. So we want to start there. Then we want to go to the middle layer. So we have to find a point like right there. And now we want to change to the third camera. And after that, we want to go back to the main camera. So we have to cut it right there and delete it. So like this. That's perfect. And now just cut everything so you don't need too much layers and you don't have too much audio signals above each other like this and then we are going to delete the audio of the second layer so we are just listening to the main audio which I have recorded with my microphone and has the best audio quality. Then we are changing everything back to the normal size by tapping the full screen button in the frame and fit settings and now we are checking it again sound is synced so audio is perfect and looks pretty cool so this is the fir first method and for the second method which also works pretty good we have to go back to the point where we synced everything right there and what we're doing now is we're changing everything to the normal size this is just part of the so right there we start <laughs> so here we start and uh, what we are doing is we are changing the opacity of every clip so to about 50 doesn't matter too much uh, but you have to see everything at the first layer we don't have to change it so now we are seeing everything and we also search for the points where we want to change the camera angle. So here we want to start with everything. So set a cut, delete the rest. Then this point we want to switch to the second camera right there. So we are deleting the top two layers because we want only the video from the first layer then we are deleting the signal of the top layer because at this point we want to switch to the top layer so everything before the point has can be deleted and then switch to the point where we want to jump to the first layer again which is that one at this point we can delete everything else then it's also important to uh, mute the audio of the top layer and of course bringing back the blending or the opacity to 100% so everything is fine and that's it and you have a second method to sync and manage multi-camera clips. Don't forget to give this video a thumb up and subscribe to my channel.